Hello everyone, welcome to another Still Speaks video. We are very, very lucky today to have special bread, a very special guest from the Sanctuary Shattered Sun team to tell us a little bit about what happened in June 2023. Take it away, special bread. Right, so this month we've got some, uh, let's go to the first slide, guard units, as always, as expected. Uh, so this guy is a stealth field generator for the guard, so it, well, it generates stealth, right? Um, I think we, uh, we sort of took a bit of, uh, cues from the shield generator, so it's got, like, a similar base going on, uh, but it's a quite different shape and profile from the top, right? It's got that sort of the signature triangular pattern kind of thing happening in there. Uh, there we go, yeah, then it will, it's gonna spin around, um... I don't actually remember if this one gets, uh, I think this is just one. I'm pretty sure this is just one building, because otherwise we would have seen a set of three or two. Uh, so this one doesn't get upgraded. The shield generators come in a set of two for the guard, and uh, a set of two for every faction, actually. So, but yeah, so it's because, and, and like, you know, we'll talk a bit about faction diversity too. So the guard and the chosen they have stealth field generators but the eda don't because every shield generator for the eda also stealths right like every that eda is the true stealth faction they have stealth shields whereas everyone else has regular old boring shields that's how it works so there we go um the next one is we have a well what do you think this is steel Ooh, is it a Hmm. Alloy storage? No, it's big. Look at it. It's huge. Okay, okay. It's big, big, big alloy storage. I'm getting, uh... <laughs> oh, uh, got me. <laughs> okay, okay. It's the guard. It's the guard. It is... Is it a, the tech building? No, no, no. It's, it is. Well, I'll show you what it is. It's actually the artillery building. What? This is out. artillery. No. No, no, no. Come I'll show on. you. Check this out. It actually even deploys, and it's like this is um, uh, rather than blender, just the animation. But like um, the this thing is actually the artillery building for the guard, and it's like a particle accelerator. And you'll start seeing that it spins up, and then it's going to shoot plasma out. It just doesn't need a barrel because it's that cool. That is pretty cool. It's a particle accelerator weapon, and then uh, you can, it will just start like vomiting plasma out at the enemies. It's going to be great. How was I supposed to guess that was an artillery piece? Like, how was I supposed no, to guess that? Know. Come on, come you, on. You did see the tier 4 artillery robot from last month, and it has the same weapon. Okay, alright. I didn't know I needed <laughs> to study for these things now. I guess I need to study no, now. I, mean, I shake. <laughs> <laughs> Life's always a test. Sometimes you don't know when it hits you. All right. Well, <laughs> and there we go. But yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of what's going on now. And um, yeah, I, I actually really love these two units. I think they're sort of my favorite units just because they're so unique. You know, people are like, "What? That's the artillery, right?" But that's that that is the artillery. So uh, you know, it, it it's sort of. I'm, I'm gonna do it. It sort of really puts a new spin on it. <laughs> All right. Should have seen that one coming. I should have seen that uh, one coming. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> no, it was a good uh, one. Honestly, it was honestly, a good that one. That one came to me natural. I was just gonna say it puts a new spin on it. And I was just realized that I'm gonna make this into a really cringy pun. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a good one. It was a good one. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So next, uh, we've actually been going back and upgrading our old maps as well. So if you, uh, notice um like some of the gameplay footage we've been putting out and stuff is on a map that looks a bit like this one and that's because it is this map but we've upgraded it a lot so you can see we've added like a border around it we've got our infinite terrain system yeah uh, going on it and uh we we just changed the layout so it had like four cliffs down and stuff so we we really upgraded it and then uh we we added some gameplay changes to it as well like there used to be no pass over here but we've added a little pass so it's you know more strategic more better somehow you know 
Uh, we, we also have some plans for this in the future, but they are top secret and they'll come as a surprise. But uh, there we go. And, and like, again, nobody's even going to guess what they are. I actually find guessing things really funny because um, like the way it works is, you know, you see people like meticulously studying our trailers and they're like, oh, this thing over there, it probably means like something like that. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, yeah, we just stuck that in there because we were running short on time. <laughs> like, and it, and we it stuck it cool. to the trailer. Like, that's a placeholder model. <laughs> you know? Like, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so sometimes you get some of that. I think it's just really funny, like, how, how like, some, but some of those things and, like, some of the secrets that we do hide in there, people don't find. So, <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it works both ways. Yeah, so this is, um, us kind of working on a just you know upgrading all the graphics in our map so you know the demo the gameplay demo that we've um, shown to steel and things like that it's kind of like on an area like this and now it's going to be a much bigger area look beautiful and so on and uh, here's a shot of it from the top down so Whoa. you can kind of see that the map is rotationally symmetrical but what you'll notice is that the textures are not symmetrical so um, that's kind of the trick that we're doing. So you can see that here it's slightly different than over here. It's actually pretty similar though, because it, it, it is sort of based on like overall masks and gradient mapping and stuff like that. So it kind of symmetricizes itself. But like when there's like leeway, there's a green patch over here that's not over there and things like that. So it just makes them a little bit more natural than they would be otherwise. Looks great. Uh, yeah. So there we go. And then, yeah, so that's going to be the layout of the map. We actually also rotated it sideways compared to the current version. Um, I guess at this point, it's a different map, honestly, because it's got like new mountains and things like that. So we added some gameplay changes as well. Anyway, here's a beauty shot of the EDA Scout car uh, in the valley. I actually quite like this setup because it's sort of the whole map is in a giant like canyon or like not a canyon it's a it's a glacial valley actually um and um and then yeah and then and then and then you get to play on that anyway there you go so um yeah. beautiful and then, uh, oh I, there there it is the, there see, it is there there it is see, we can talk about the artillery from last week but so you see you see it's got the same weapon i remember it's also gonna it's also gonna spin up yeah and then this is a um just kind of a teaser shot uh from uh you know our other map to the porch we're just putting trees on it just sprinkling it um on we're, we're kind of been doing a lot of stuff that is uh non-graphical so i just stuck this uh graphical image while we talk about the non-graphical updates because um you know it, like it, believe it or not we actually write code as well right we don't just put out content right and um so uh, some of the stuff we've been working on is um you know we've been working on bug fixes so actually you know still uh I, I think in one of your videos your reviews you're like oh you know the chosen artillery doesn't shoot actually it does it just shoots invisible bullets because oh! we didn't put any effects on it right invisible uh, bullets it shoots invisible, or, or like it should be shooting invisible bullets, yes. Um, and um, so one of the bugs that we had is when you turn off Fog of War, it also turns off the strategic icons for the projectiles, because we actually have those in the demo as well, but you need to like mess around with some settings so they don't end up showing up. Uh, so we're working on, we've actually uh, put in those back in again, and... Um, things like that so now you'll be able to see that the units actually do have the vfx and things and you know we've been working on improving the effect, visual effects of the game and there was like um issue that we didn't really kind of it was a mistake on my part actually because i didn't I, I i told the guy to set the particle caps and he set the particle caps but he set them with the idea that the particle cap would be like per instance of an effect. So an explosion, right? You don't want it to have like a million particles. You want it to have 20. And um, 
the reason for that is because when you have a thousand explosions, right, you know, whatever, like overload the GPU. So he set it to 20, but that number that I told him to set was actually a shared cap for all of them. So now like, you can only get 20 on the screen with 100 tax blob, right? So, so we're fixing that issue. And, and um, so now it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look better soon. Hopefully. It's only a demo. It's only a demo. I keep telling people it's yeah. super pre-alpha. So we actually have the VFX particle cap like way too low. Um, so I was just thinking, like, why is it that the VFX, like, who, who you know, who, like, I was like thinking, like, oh, what's going on? Like, surely somebody must have noticed that this is wrong. <laughs> and it was me. It's my fault. <laughs> uh, so there you go. You truly are yeah. special. Then, um, yeah, then we've been doing like some a, a bunch of performance improvements and that you know improving how the game loads and and stuff. So we're adding like um the ability to reload parts of the game without reloading the whole game. Oh, um, and that's for debug reasons because it's really uh, useful to be able to do that, especially when you're doing things like um, testing out unit scripts and code and and all that rest of it. You want to be able to just you know like save the file load the game again right so all that stuff you kind of can't see so that's why we're just staring at this forest over here right and and so a lot of our work this month was was in that kind of thing because um in, in fact I, i'd say it's a lot of work every month i don't actually mention it in the previous ones because we just have a bit more eye candy it's just this month what what we've also done is we've taken a bit of a week off like we actually went on a, a bit of a like uh Aralis took a bit of a holiday this week and so they have a bit less to show so i'm kind of stretching out the time and talking about the more technical aspects and things and you know we've been uh, also working on uh hotkeys so hotkeys are actually a pretty important thing and um we've kind of up until recently we've been using like a pretty like minimum implementation because it's for debug purposes only and stuff. But I think now's the sort of the time to switch to a proper system for hotkeys because we'll need one eventually. Um, and you know, it, it, if we, we we've got a game demo build out, we kind of want to put an update on it. So we want to like make the hotkeys work better. And because we'll start adding a lot more hotkeys soon, because um, you know, like more content's gonna come in, things like that. So. Uh, hotkeys are a good time, it's a good time for hotkeys to be added. So, and again, you can't see, you can't, you may not even notice the difference if we were to like release a patch, because the hotkeys worked in the old one and they work in the new one, but <laughs> but it's better now, you know, it uses different code. That, that That's how that works. So yeah, a lot of our stuff was like that. And then um, we've also been, uh, looking at the lighting for these maps and um, trying to upgrade more. What you see in the screenshot is actually the old lighting. It's uh, all the brightness values are wrong, which you may or may not notice, but they are. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we've been trying to, we've actually working with a guy who um, worked on witcher 3 for this so and and like all the stuff so and and cyberpunk 2077 so he knows Whoa. he he knows a thing or two about lighting and actually i just um in the past like we've been sort of doing this on and off because he doesn't have much time obviously um he's um he's just been helping us out like uh, an hour or two like a part-time kind of thing um and you know i learned so much about lighting like, I was like, ah, now there's, like, all these things, and you get these color things, and so on, and so on, so I know, I know a lot about lighting, it's like, ah, this texture, like, needs to be brighter because of reasons, and then so on, so, yeah, yeah there's, there's been a lot of stuff like that, is what I'm saying, um, yeah, I think that, that's, this is the final image for this week, um, that's kind of that. I covered a lot of non-graphical things this time, but I think we're done. You got it. You got any comments, uh, Steel? No, I mean you. You got to get the technical stuff done. The technical stuff is are like yeah, the yeah. guts of the game, right? Like if you don't it's have the actually, technical yeah, stuff, you don't have a game. The rest of the game, the rest of the game won't run if you if you don't have the technical stuff. 
Right, you don't have they the have, guts. That's what games do. They they simulate things. Yeah. So I mean, this is all important stuff. I mean, you got a lighting expert. And now you're becoming a kind of a lighting expert because you're learning from the guys. So a lot of yeah, yeah. a lot of great stuff. So I mean, I look forward to seeing the the patch when it does come, and all that stuff. I mean, yeah. hotkeys are super important when you play. Yeah, like, there depends to... on the patch, unfortunately. Oh no, no, I'm not uh, expecting that. Who knows? Yeah. Not expecting that. I mean, th th this stuff takes a lot of work, and people need to understand that. I mean, like, people are like, when's this game coming out? When's this game coming out? S slow down, slow down. Give, give them time to cook. Give them time to cook. <laughs> yeah. I mean, making an RTS game takes years, and we're seeing that, you know, firsthand. So we're very lucky, lucky yeah, yeah, yeah. To, even, to even get, like, a monthly insight into the game. This is a very rare thing like a monthly like check in every every month like how lucky are we to have this so i mean we're very thankful to have this so this is good yeah that's actually because um the thing is is we are um a pretty small studio so actually like having this much stuff per month is a bit of a surprise because our art department is like three people wow maybe four Something like that, wow. right? Like so, so like a, a lot of the stuff you see is just churning out uh, from those guys, or like you know the guard is made by one guy, you know, like right, so everything right. you see is what he did that month, right? And so, right. you know, if he goes on holiday, <laughs> that's it, right? Like he, he, there's no guard progress, but like uh, until he comes back or something, right? So that's how that works. But he, you know, like um, Kubo is the guard author. And he's doing a great job. Yeah. With, uh, beautiful units. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's all good. Um, so, like, you know, because normally you'd get, like, a team of people on this. And he's just doing it by himself. So he's, like, a one-man team. And then we got Avatus, who's also a one-man team. It's pretty and good. so are you. Well, yeah, true. But I haven't, I haven't been doing much modeling lately because I need to do all the other stuff. True, true. You're a one-man team split among multiple, multiple departments. So yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I guess that's how you gotta do it when you're when you're an indie like us. Like it. Like um, I'm actually pretty proud of the stuff we put out because it 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 looks like a double A title, right? It it looks pretty impressive. But actually, given the budget we're on, it's really cheap. I mean. Like, I mean, you're, you're, not in you're... quality, but in like cost, right? So we're we're putting out a lot of quality for a very low cost. You're a small studio making a gargantuan game. I mean, that's just the way it is. You're making a gigantic game as a small studio. I mean, it looks great. We try. You're you know, doing a great job. Not, we try. <laughs> I know you're doing a great job. Yeah, I'm would... glad you like the game. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I do, I, I, you know, I can't wait for the next um, demo release as much as you. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get that when it's done sometime soon. Because we, we do have some stuff planned, like, you know, gameplay improvements, uh, like, you know, and especially for you lovely casters and stuff. So, um, you know, like, we're trying to... I mean, we haven't actually put them in yet, but we, 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 we're trying to put in some nicer camera controls and stuff like that. So, you know, you can have your smooth uh, cinematic, um, like, you know, rotates and zooms and stuff. And we actually got them in, um, like, we do have some stuff to preview. Um, well, hang on, let me, let me just, uh, let me just scroll up, scroll around while I find some stuff, because who knows, maybe it's in there somewhere. Oh, maybe we got him to reveal some more stuff. Anybody who stuck yeah, around? Like, uh, Steel's really um, <laughs> crying. He's, he's working his miles. <laughs> you may not find it anyway, because who knows. Um, oh, no, no, you got it. You win. Let's, uh, I got it. Uh, I win. I get, uh, yeah, you win this time. Here we go. So this is like, um, you know, it's still on the old map. You can kind of compare the, let's, let's just compare the map. Here oh, we go. yeah, yeah, yeah. So before and after. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good, eh? Real yeah, good. Yeah, so um, 
this is just still on the prototype. I see we got like a test hole in the map. Uh, test hole. It's just a circle, but yeah, here's the smooth camera movements and stuff. All right. I like that. Pretty good, eh? I like that. Does it go all the way around? Uh, it does. It does. He's just. Uh, it. You just. You can choose which direction it goes in. It's like a. I don't know what the hockey is, but you can like um, do like control uh, W or like control S or whatever you know, and it just like smoothly goes up and down and in in every direction. So, oh yeah, and then here's like the unit tracking and stuff. Oh. And you can rotate the camera while you're uh, centered on the unit as well. That's gonna be useful. Yeah. And then there's a bit of a thing. Uh, like, I think he just reset it at the end there, so it popped. But there we go. That's, okay. uh... Wow, you got me to do some more stuff. Okay, but this Bonus. time they're done. Bonus! <laughs> so anybody who... Uh, yeah, they give this man a raise. <laughs> anybody who was smart enough to stick around got to see the bonus material. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for the That's month. it? You got you, you got to stop talking before yeah. I get more out of you. All right, understandable, understandable. All right, so you know where could people get a hold of you? Where do people really, really get to know more about this project? Well, it's Discord actually. Discord is where we do, and we actually even answer questions. So people are asking us uh, performance related questions, and we just say, "Yeah, we do this and that. It's all great." All right, yeah. the Discord. link. The link is in the description down below to be part of the Sanctuary Shattered Sun Discord. Definitely, definitely recommend you get involved with that. So, yep, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow them on Discord, and subscribe to me as well. So, thank you so much for watching and making it all the way through. You guys are amazing. So, share with your friends, family, and foes, because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG. Here we are.